Good day. Welcome to another session with Guru Wonder. I'm your host, Gurvinder Singh. How often have we landed up trying to solve problems which didn't really belong to us? It weren't even our problems. It is quite typical for a junior or a colleague, spouse, uh, to come up and say, I have a problem. Naturally, we, we are concerned. We, we Human beings, by and large, are, are positive-minded and want to help wherever they can. And there's also, if it is somebody who's not very intimate, you would also like to see how you might profit from the situation or there is also the fear that the problem should not impact us in any adverse way. So it is quite typical for people to respond and say, uh, yeah, what is the problem? Now, this, is, this, is, this may look morally and socially very nice thing to do, but from a management point of view and from a practical standard point of view, this is not really a very good thing to do. Because what we say by, by asking this question, what is the problem, by its very nature being an open-ended question, we pass on the initiative of the answer to the complainer. And he or she can take forever to explain the problem and to... Uh, to keep droning on and on and on, consuming our time, patience and resources. And eventually, without realizing it, we become somehow associated with the problem and indirectly become responsible for solving the problem. Now we are really hooked. And it requires a lot of courage to say, I'm sorry, that's not my problem. And I can't help you. So, being drawn in to solve someone else's problem, which they themselves are fully capable of resolving on their own, it's not really a good thing to do. And not only that, when we land up doing, undertaking other people's responsibilities, uh, we are not able to devote time to our own relationships, to our own uh, problems, and to fulfill our own responsibilities. Mind you, I say that this is only for the people who are capable of solving their own problems, but would rather that somebody else resolve this from them. And that is why, if you notice, bosses and owners, managers, all over the world, work harder and harder and harder. They are the first to arrive, they are the last to leave, they hardly take a day off. And they discover that as they progress to higher seniority in life, life just doesn't seem to have the same fun as when they were juniors. Now let's assume that you did help solve some, the problem for someone which, mind you, which they were fully capable of resolving on their own. You, did, you earn a reputation for solving problems. So what, can, what is the reward for good work? More work. So you land up doing more and more and more and more and then eventually you are inundated with so much work that life really becomes extremely difficult. But we really sense this. We know something is, is not right. This is not how things should be. The way we are operating and how... How the hell did we become the magnet for, this, for these problems? Mind you, in the beginning when we are able to solve problems, we, we get extremely charged up and excited, believing we are supermen or superwomen. Uh, who can move and shake and resolve problems at the snap of our fingers. But in due course of time, 
we grow angry, frustrated, confused, exhausted, and over feel overworked. This can and often does lead to impacting adversely our ability to perform and our own responsibilities, discharge our own responsibilities and to not be able to spend time with our family, friends and interests. We have to remember as a parent, as a spouse, as a, as a colleague uh, or as a boss, it's not our job to, to solve the problems of others which they themselves are fully capable of, of, of resolving on their own. And I have to tell you, this is one of the key factors in achieving success and realizing happiness. So next time, ask, is this problem my problem? Thank you for joining me. I hope to see you again on my channel again sometime soon. If you like, if you like the video, please do not forget to press the like button, like, share and subscribe to the channel. Have a good day.